Hi, my name is Andrea Waddell. I am a California-based abstract painter and um, French trained, if I can say. I lived in France for about 30 years and um, kind of navigate my life between the two continents. If you're new here, welcome. I'm really glad you're here. And uh, if you are not new and you are here again, here we are. I'm super glad that you're here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I created these abstracted landscapes um, with oil and cold wax on paper in one sitting um, to show you that sometimes you can really just create these with these foundational layers and they become paintings that really work alone or they become the foundational layers for something that you'll build off of and Lately, I've been creating these little abstracted mini landscapes. So I kind of start like that. I start with these paper sketches and then I mount these to board like this. So that's step one and maybe there will be steps two and three till we get them mounted and they become fully, fully formed little paintings. Uh, and I hope that you get something out of this video watching this process and I comment on my process. If you'd like to go deeper and you want to learn more, go ahead and go over to my website, andreawaddell.com, and you'll see that I've got an online class coming up in January. And you will see that I have one-on-one -on -one mentoring offerings for artists. And I'm also starting to create a standalone uh, class filmed class that'll take you from start to finish and give you all kinds of great tools, tips, and techniques to really build your voice and um, create some cool work. So let's get started. So I'm starting with these birch panels. Uh, they're five by sevens, pulling them off. I've got some Arches oil paper, which I'm gonna seal in with this glazing medium, this acrylic glazing medium. And the reason I do that is to keep those edges nice and clean. I'm going to be painting right over them, creating a great big mess in these first foundational layers. At this point, I don't know if this is going to be a standalone painting or if this is just going to be the first of multiple layers yet. But I want to keep my edges clean. I've got a tube ringer. It's great. Great little tube uh, t tool. Some tallow blue today that I'm working with on my palette, some transparent orange, some titanium white, some zinc white, some pan pastel, Payne's gray pigment stick, earth brown pigment stick, these are so fun, and my source image of a California landscape with fog and all kinds of cool movement that I'm going to use super loosely. The oil and cold wax, a hard edged knife, the squeegee, and our brayer friend. 50-50 paint to cold wax on these first layers and now I'm just really loosely looking at that source image and getting some lines in, some movement, some direction, so that I can actually use these lines in the end. They won't just be random. They're, they're a little bit thought through. And then I'm gonna take that blue, mix it 50-50 with the, with the cold wax and just come across one or two passes, not more, I'm not going back and forth, just quickly coming across. I'm still, this is super loose. One pass again with the transparent orange and that, that'll probably be the sky in the end. Nice and crisp and clean and luminous with the white paper showing behind it. And I'm also using this violet hematite, this earth, earthy color that's kind of interesting. And I'm pulling across, loosely drawing in some of these shapes that I'm looking at um, very freely. In the source image, some tree formations, value shifts with that dark Payne's gray. Drawing in what I can see. Kind of got a little messy there, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going back and forth, squeegee and um, 
the knife. I'm not using my brayer anymore because it's just going to get, it's just going to mix and get a little muddy. So the brayer I use on my first layers only. I mean the first layers, very, very first ones. I'm mixing in my zinc white and the blue, pulling across lightly, lightly with, or I'm trying to, I'm not being successful at it, but I'm trying to pull across really very, very lightly, barely touching the surface to get those kind of foggy cloud white shapes here. Mixing it a little bit in some areas. Pulling into it, scraping it back. And now I'm going to reach for my tissue paper and I'm going to blot in some edges. I'm going to pull in some movement. I'm going to lift some paint. I'm going to pull it up, smooth it, trying to balance things a little bit. I can't see that much because of the tape. But I can see where I, I, I could find some differences and contrasts in the texture by using the squeegee, the paper towel. And my final little trick here is going to be to flick in some pan pastel and then I'm going to fix it with some fixative, otherwise it, it'll never stay down on your surface. Taking off my gloves. Oh, not yet, taking them off. Here we go. And then the aha moment, the fun part is pulling up the tape to see what we've done. And there we go. Quick little painting studies.